By now you may have probably heard that the second stage of a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket is due to collide against the moon's far side on March 4th. In this video I want to explain why this is happening and touch on whether this is really that big of a deal or just an interesting event and nothing else. First, it's not a whole rocket crashing into the moon, but rather the smaller second stage of a Falcon 9 rocket used in the first interplanetary mission of SpaceX back in 2015. Typically for launches to low Earth orbit, these second stages remain orbiting around the Earth for some time before being reignited and sent downwards so that they re-enter the atmosphere and safely burn up. When it comes to interplanetary missions, the most common way for disposing of these stages is to send them away into a heliocentric orbit. Now, this particular launch, which took place almost seven years ago and will end up with the second stage of a Falcon 9 crashing into the moon, was a mission for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration that delivered the satellite destined for the Earth-Sun Lagrange Point 1, located about 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth, to provide space weather alerts and forecasts, such as geomagnetic storms. Now the question is, what happened with the second stage of this Falcon 9 rocket? It was an interplanetary mission, so why did SpaceX not send it into a heliocentric orbit? Well, after completing a long burn to reach a transfer orbit, which in this case is the orbit needed for the weather satellite to reach its destination, the second stage and the payload separated from each other, and the actual plan was indeed to send this second stage into an orbit around the Sun. However, as astronomer Jonathan McDowell tells us in his blog, the stage had to make a small avoidance burn, leaving it on a lunar flyby trajectory. Then the batteries ran out, thus leaving the second stage of this Falcon 9 rocket floating around as a piece of space junk in a cislunar orbit. As McDowell puts it, these kinds of orbits are somewhat chaotic and unstable, eventually leading the object to hit the moon or the earth or even be ejected into a solar orbit. And in this case, it turns out that the object will end up hitting the far side of the moon on March 4th. It is unknown why the batteries on the second stage ran out, but everything points out at a screw-up from SpaceX themselves. Now, will this collision have any effect on the moon? No, nope, not at all. Even though the empty second stage of a Falcon 9 rocket has 4 metric tons of mass, which will be hitting the lunar surface at 2.5 km per second, that won't be enough to make a noticeable difference. As per McDowell's own words, this piece of rocket hitting the moon will change its speed enough to move the moon by the width of a single atom in a year, which equals 10 centimeters or around 4 inches in 1 billion years. So definitely not a point of concern. However, what may be worth discussing is the pollution of the lunar surface. There are the ones who think this particular crash is not a big deal, but on the other hand, there are also the ones who believe that this is not okay and that we shouldn't be polluting the moon with our trash. It may be also interesting to point out that this is not the first time human-made objects have crashed into the moon. There is, in fact, lots of junk from lunar missions that have ended up hitting the moon and even a center upper stage was deliberately smashed into it back in 2009 in order to collect data from the impact and debris plume. Similarly, NASA may, after all, get some available data from the upcoming crash. And even though nowadays there is significantly more interest in keeping space junk at a minimum, it is actually common practice to abandon stuff in deep space. My take on it is that moon pollution is currently not a point of concern, or at least not that big of a concern. Of course, this doesn't mean that it won't become a problem if we keep making or letting things crash into the moon, nor does it mean that we shouldn't take care of it. Nonetheless, I think this is an issue we will take care of in future decades, and I also believe that current pollution in low Earth orbit is a much more pressing problem that we have to try and resolve. That's just my opinion. Oh, what do you think? Is moon pollution currently a point of concern for you? Or do you have a rather more relaxed view of the situation? Let me know in the comments down below. Alright, that was all for this one. I hope I could help clarify a couple of things about this upcoming space junk crash with the moon. Thank you for being here and I will see you all again very soon. Take care, have a nice day. Bye-bye.